Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be doing the most intense Sephora VIB shopping guide. I have never done this. Like I always miss the sale. And you guys this year have asked me so many times to sit down and share with you all of my favorites and just exactly what I would encourage, you know, spending, saving, you know, what you want to actually go and purchase from the sale and where you could maybe pull back, save that cash and go to the drugstore. So I'm only gonna share with you guys the items that. I really feel are worth the spend, that are special, that work so great and are different, uh, that they are worth that Sephora price tag. I think we need to start out with all of my primers and just kind of breeze on through this because we got a lot to cover. I'm gonna have to be fast, otherwise we're gonna be here for like a couple of hours. So I wanna tell you guys that I'm back on my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. This works so beautifully to give you a not sticky, overly tacky base for your eyeshadow and it really intensifies the color. It doesn't make things clump or streak. It's just a really good standard eyeshadow base. I prefer the anti-aging because, hey, who doesn't want a little anti-aging action for your eyelids? I feel this works better than the original too, just in my opinion. So I love this guy right here. And then for primers, you guys, if you're looking for firming and moisturizing, this is such a gorgeous primer. I have bought this so many times. This is from Guerlain. It is the gold base. Now this is something that if you have oily skin, you're not going to want. And it really does firm the skin. I'll link below my initial WTF where I tested this out. It has a hefty price tag. But from that time, I have not been able to do without this product. And I notice whenever I wear it that for some reason, I have a really great skin day and my foundation looks so great. So I've just gone back to this one we love, so good, so good. I also love the Clean Slate Timeless Primer. This is so fantastic for filling in the pores. If you wanna go a different route and you want something a little bit more puffy and not so putty-like, you could go with the Benefit Professional. Those are my two faves for filling in the pores. And then this guy right here, if you need hydration and you want your skin to just have like a nice drink of hydration before going straight into foundation, which can help your skin to not have any of those patches that kind of grab or lift from your foundation or powder products, this will save the day. It's so good. Do I even need to say what foundation I'm gonna recommend? I don't think I do. I think you guys know by now that I am so obsessed with the Laura Mercier Longwear Foundation. It's my everyday. It does not break me out. I tested over the past month probably eight to 10 different foundations. And there were a few of them that I really liked and I started wearing over and over. Um, I haven't posted videos yet, so I'm gonna kinda keep it quiet but they made me break out. Like they just aggravated my skin really quickly. And I know that the Laura Mercier does not. So I love that one so much. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is also a great primer. The Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb from Origins. This is kind of a two in one. I go back and forth with this. If I wanna do quick makeup, I will reach for this. If I wanna do like multi-priming and do like my moisturization and pore filling, then I'll still do my other stuff. But this one is really good. The only other foundation that I really go back for over and over again is this one right here from Hourglass. This is the Vanish Stick. I feel like if you have drier skin and you want full coverage, you're gonna really, really love this. If you have combo skin, Laura Mercier is where it's at. But these are my two favorites. I do still enjoy the YSL All Hours, but that one's just like thick. It's very, very thick. So these are my two faves. Those are where it's at in my opinion and I've tried so many foundations. As far as a concealer from Sephora, I think of course the Estee Lauder Double Wear is beautiful. I'm wearing it today and you guys, I recently wore a different concealer in a video like testing it out. I didn't even say anything about it and there were so many comments like, what's going on with your under eye? What's weird with your under eye right now? And concealer can really make or break a look. So getting the right concealer that does not crease, that does not slide around, that really cancels things out, that blends into your foundation, that's so important. This one right here absolutely does it. It just makes you look like you got more sleep than you did. It brightens things up, it blends beautifully, and it is expensive. So why not purchase this during a sale? Another concealer I don't talk about a lot, but is really good for carving out a brow, for a thicker application underneath the eye, or for spot concealing on the face is from NARS. Soft Matte Complete Concealer, really, really good. Now, as far as setting your face, I go full drugstore. I go Cody Airspun. I like my uh, Rimmel Stay Matte. I like a lot of drugstore products for powders. Um, Winky Lux is not drugstore, but that's not crazy high-end either. So like my powders, 
are pretty drugstore standard. Like they're just not, I don't go for my expensive ones anymore. I stopped doing that about a year ago. I did find a way to feel okay about spending a lot of money on a La Mer powder. It's right behind me on display. I don't really use it anymore. I just, it's just, it's there. I can't, I can't get rid of it. Uh, for setting the face to give you that like creamy glow, I love, love, love the ambient powder from Hourglass. This will change your complexion. If you have any dryness on the skin, this is not for oily skin. I would not recommend putting this all over your face for oily skin. But if you want that like creamy, beautiful glow, this just gives it to you so fast. I love it, it's the best. A lot of these items you guys may hear me talking about over and over, but there are a few here that you don't hear me chat about often. And this is one of them. And I actually keep this on my desk and I will take a smaller brush just to kind of touch up around my nose, just to touch up on the chin, the forehead, any area where oil is peeking through, but I don't want to like fully powder the entire face. This is the Invisimat from Fenty. This is just a beautiful blotting powder that does not give you that like gross cakey white cast. It just melts into the skin. It truly blots the skin. Like, I love this. I think it's fantastic. Sometimes I'll even go in with a velour puff and kind of just like buff out any of the shine that I don't want on the face. And it works beautifully. I have to mention it because you guys, Clarisonic, it's not cheap, it's expensive. So while you can at the VIB cell, if you wanna pick up a Clarisonic, go for it. I still am obsessed with my Clarisonic brush head. I have a brand new foundation brush head to pop on my Clarisonic because I've been using the other one way too long. You do need to replace the brush heads. That's the one thing with the Clarisonic, you buy it you're gonna to wanna to replace your cleansing brush head and your foundation brush head. But the device just is such a game changer. I can absolutely tell when I stop using it and when I start using it as far as cleansing the skin. And then as far as blending and contour, it just gets it done fast, beautifully. It doesn't move product around everywhere. You can use less product, it's so good. Heads up, I am still enjoying this from Becca, the water powder, I still use this. This powder right here is so gorgeous. I still use it, I love it, I think it's so cool. It really minimizes your pores and sets the makeup and just gives you this like firm, fresh feeling. So I wanted to update you guys that I am still really, really loving the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Great for touch-ups all over the face if you don't wanna like redo your makeup and you're going out. This is a great powder. Uh, yeah, that was a good makeup day. Like I loved that makeup day. I used a bunch of Milani purples and Anastasia Beverly Hills purples and it was just like, oh, so good. All right, you guys, next up, I have a little bit of Sephora drama. Actually, this is Urban Decay drama, but you know, Sephora video, I have to mention this. This powder, I love so much. Oh my gosh. Mix it in your foundation. It's beautiful. Set your makeup, gorgeous. This is the Urban Decay the Velvetizer. I started seeing photos being tweeted to me and I wanted to see underneath here if this was true or not, that it's a repackaged product. So, no effing way. Okay, so I really hope that they just used the same bottle. Oh my God. All right, so it is true that underneath the velvet, if you rip the velvet off, the container will say naked skin, ultra definition, loose finishing powder, which leads us all to believe that this is just rebranding and telling us it's something new and different and to use it a different way and to mix it in your foundation. And it's gonna give you this crazy result. That's really not cool if that is the truth. Is that, is this old product? Oh my God, that's not cool. I just spit all over myself. <laughs> so angry, I spit on myself. Urban Decay, come on. Okay, let's go under here and see what happens. Cause I just love ruining a fresh manicure. Let's do it together. All right, so there's no like different sticker underneath. I'm gonna have to further investigate, but what do you guys think? Do you feel betrayed by Urban Decay or are you okay with it? What are your thoughts? Because this is not cool. I still have other Urban Decay products in here to chat about and to recommend, and I like a lot of their products, but I do have to admit, this is kind of strange. It's just strange. You guys know I'm obsessed with this NARS highlight. This is seriously like the most gorgeous highlighter. You can pack it on wet or dry, and it just gives you everything that you need. It is 
bam just gorgeous glowy goddess love the texture it doesn't look overdone or sparkly or gritty it's just perfect so if you want a good highlight and you're just going to use a palette like this go for it spend the cash i love it the other highlight right now that i am so so just attracted to and really in love with how it wears as well is the vlada and smashbox collaboration you guys look at how freaking beautiful this compact is. And yes, the compact is gorgeous, but the product itself is also absolutely so, so gorgeous. I'm wearing the more champagne shade today and it is just so freaking good. I love this. It glistens on the skin. It's beautiful, it's enjoyable to just look at the compact, look at the beautiful design of everything, and the whole collection is really, really stunning. This right here is what's on underneath my eyes right here on my lid. This is Wanderlust from Stila. This is my very favorite out of the Magnificent Metals. And if you have not tried these Magnificent Metals, then you are missing out. You need to try them. I, of course, also love the new ones from BH Cosmetics, and those are more uh, affordable if you need options. Those are the closest to this formula that I have found, but this color in particular is just so special, and I don't have anything else like it in my collection, so I wanna just reiterate how much I love this color. It works with so many different looks and it is the best one in my opinion. All right, now if you need to line your eyes, you guys know I'm gonna talk about this Smashbox eye pen over and over again. I have not loved a liner so much in a long time. This is the Always On Liquid Eyeliner. So good, easy to apply, wears all day, does not smudge, hits all the high notes for me that I need in a liner. Then for a liner that you would put in your waterline, what I'm wearing right now is from Stila. This is the Kajal Pencil in espresso. I also have, of course, intense black. I keep these two up here on my vanity and I wear these two all of the time. So if you're looking for a good liner that you can use on the lash line and the water line that isn't going to smear everywhere, then Stila is where it's at. Go save that cash. Buy some eyeliner from Stila. If you have been waiting to take the plunge, go for it. Another item that is so good for the lips, because we're kind of moving around here. Pat McGrath, gosh dang it, I don't know why it took me so long to try this out. This is the Matte Trance Lipstick in Peep Show. I want more of these. The texture of this is probably the best matte that I own. And I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. oh Lord, Tati. 10 drawers of lip products, oh my gosh, why? <sighs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> I need to do a major clean out, but I have so much in terms of lipstick. I have never felt a formula that is better than this one right here. And who does not love everything about this design? The little lips on the front, so gorgeous. I'll quickly share with you guys that on my lips today, I am wearing the Caramel Pop from Clinique. This is the Mari Mecco. A collaboration. These are just so glossy without being goopy and I keep wearing them. I know I talked about this in my underrated products video, but I just wanted to mention it again. This is one of my favorites in terms of glosses. If you're really needing a gloss, Marc Jacobs also does a fabulous job with really shiny but not goopy glosses. So those are my gloss recommendations. Uh, I keep using this. I can't get enough of it. This is so good. And it's not cheap. It kind of feels cheap. I wish it was not so expensive. This is the Metalist High Shine Bouncy Cream Shadow Palette from Touch and Soul. Really, really good if you like cream shadows that are metallic, but you don't want them to fall apart, be flaky, or make your eye lines more visible. It just kind of sits on the lid beautifully and does not exaggerate things that you probably don't want to exaggerate. And then as far as an actual palette right now, NARS, oh, so good. Every time I wear this, I love my makeup. It blends beautifully. You have different textures in here. You have your classic colors that are gonna give you that initial lay down of transition and just kind of like a neutral vibe. And then you can really just go to town with these more exciting colors here and kind of amp up the shine. I think it is so beautiful and smooth and creamy and glittery without being like, 
Like it's just a beautiful, almost subtle glitter, but not so subtle that you're like, great, what did I spend my money on? I'm not even sure. Like it's still there, but it's subtle and sophisticated. If you want a glitter that is more in your face and more wow, but does not fall everywhere, then check out these from Smashbox. This is the Photo Edit Trio in Pick Me, and I love this. I want them to come out with more colors because the texture on this is just insanity. It's actual straight glitter looking on the lid, but when you apply it, it somehow just stays on the lid and it does not fluff everywhere. It wears beautifully without creasing all day long. I wore this during a wear test of, I think really crappy concealer, but my eye makeup looked so good. And when I was watching that video editing it, I was like, dang. That is like some good glitter. And ever since I've just been reaching for it and loving it so much. So this is definitely something to check out. All of these little guys from Huda Beauty that are already very affordable. I would definitely look at buying one of these if you need bright colors or if you need a cute little neutral palette to take on the go. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the Star Lit Glitter Palette. This is similar to the Smashbox Trio. Just look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful palette. Makeup Forever does an excellent job with shadows. They do an excellent job with a lot of their products, but this is something special to me that I think the formula is just very, very good. This one right here, yes. Yes, please, all the time, have to have it. I need a new one. She's missing a pan down here. This is just like done. Brows, Dior, Anastasia. If you want a micro pencil, go with one of the two. These are just so, so good. And you can just like give yourself a fuller brow looking very natural and do those like feather strokes where it actually looks like an actual brow hair instead of a thicker pencil where you run the risk of really like kind of looking too harsh and unnatural. So I love this so much. I also really love this from Hourglass. This is the Arch Fiber Gel. And so long as you brush this off on a tissue a little bit and go in, you can go in kind of hard and it just gives this base to your lashes and really pushes them up. It's almost like a push-up bra for your brows. It really just, it, mm, it just like gives them a little more something. Kind of peeved at Urban Decay right now, but I know we'll make up, I'll get over it. I'm still gonna mention this. This is like my diehard love setting spray, love it. This is the All Nighter. I do have the pollution protection right now. I don't know that it's really any different. But what I do know is that when I don't use All Nighter, my makeup just does not last as long. And because of that, it's my favorite. It's something that I do really recommend. They have at Nordstrom Rack, the, uh, the older bottle, which it's not expired. So if you wanna save more than 15%, then maybe check Nordstrom Rack. I got the chill setting spray there and it was only like 17 or $18. Anyway, I also wanna say, if you need a beauty blender, now's your chance. So good, oh my gosh. My trainer, Rebecca. I'm gonna link her Instagram down below too because you guys just need to go and look at this woman's body because just like looking at her Instagram makes me immediately wanna do squats. She is in shape, she is in shape, oh my God. So she was over and we were like playing with makeup and she didn't own a beauty blender. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, why not? Why don't you own a beauty blender? Like, this is so great. And this happens more often than not. Like with women in my life, like my sisters included, they take the beauty blender out and we'll be like, oh, cool. And like, pick up the foundation dry. You guys, you always want to dampen your beauty blender. It's like those little dinosaurs that like are a pebble and they like expand. You wanna expand this. You wanna make it like grow and then it can do its magic. I also like using cream products with this as far as bronzers. I also like if I overdo a setting spray, I can go back in and kind of pat off the excess. So good. Snap. You know what I didn't mention? We didn't mention any hair care. And I just have to tell you guys, I am still exclusively in a monogamous relationship with Briogeo. That stuff has changed my hair. I love them. I love the brand owner. I love everything that they are about. So if you have not explored that brand, the VIB sale is a great time to do that. They have some new products that I think I'm gonna be testing here on my channel soon. But as far as what I already like know and love and use right now, I love the Rosarco products. I love the volumizing shampoo 
smells like Satsuma, just like really bright, beautiful orange. Um, and there are no synthetic fragrances in the product, so that's great. I love their dry shampoo. I cannot do without that. Since I found that dry shampoo, just like game changed. It is so, so good. And then their detoxing products are really good too. So check them out for sure. And yeah, holy smokes, lots of products. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day, whatever you are doing. I love you so much. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.